we're going to find the ranks of these three 3x3 three three matrices by putting them into reduced row echelon form. We're going to go through the first two pretty quickly, and then the third one will be slightly more in depth. I'll leave links in the description to my other lessons on finding the ranks of matrices that are more introductory. This one is just some more basic practice. Remember, the rank of a matrix is the dimension of its row space, which can be found by counting the number of non-zero rows in the matrix's row echelon form. If we perform elementary row operations to find the row echelon form of A, we get this. This is actually the reduced row echelon form. You could stop simply at row echelon form and you would still get the same thing for the rank. Now, when we put this in row echelon form, we see we get the identity matrix, which has one, two, three non-zero rows. So the rank of A is equal to three. If you're not comfortable yet with transforming a matrix to its row echelon form or reduced row echelon form, I'll leave links in the description to my lessons on how to do that. The third example in this video, we will actually perform the operation so you can see how we're doing it. Moving on to example two, we have this three by three matrix B. If we perform elementary row operations to transform it into its reduced row echelon form, we get this matrix here, which you can see has as one, two non-zero rows. Thus, the rank of matrix B, the dimension of its row space, is two. Finally, our third example, matrix C. To find its rank, we're going to transform it into reduced row echelon form and count the number of non-zero rows. Here are the operations we need to perform to do this. Row echelon form requires that the non-zero rows have leading ones with zeros below them. So the first thing we'll do is multiply row one by one half. That way we get a leading one. So row one becomes this. Then we can add two copies of row one to row two in order to turn this entry below the one to a zero. Similarly, we'll add four copies of row one to row three to turn this entry to a zero as well, because we want zeros below the leading one. So when we do that, add two copies of row one to row two and four copies of row one to row three, we get here. And now it is in row echelon form. It happens to be in reduced row echelon form here as well. Clearly there is one non-zero row. And so the rank of matrix C is one. That is the dimension of its row space. So there are some examples of finding the ranks of three by three matrices. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you find these linear algebra videos helpful, please consider supporting Wrath of Math on Patreon. Link in the description, it's a huge help. Thanks for watching.